Sit, wacht. I think that I'm going to hide it Somewhere by a gate it's dark Baby they ain't never gonna find me I'm a renegade It was a blessing and a curse. It's just been dunked in all of the way. Yeah. Uh, you just gotta do it. Yeah. Okay, let's just swim around a bit. Not too long. This is dangerously cold. It is. You're okay. Ooh. You're okay. Ooh. So, so this is a a cold plunge in Cape Town, Camps Bay, and the water is probably I think about nine degrees, ten degrees. Mm. So yeah, it is it is seriously cold. But it's good. I mean, look at all. Look how many people are here, just for this. So some people do this every single morning. I don't know why. Look at that. Yeah. Totally worth it to wake up. 4:30, cold plunge. But now we definitely need to get some some breakfast. So that's what you have to do if there's no ramp to get down the stairs. Ah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Nee, ik kom niet over uit nie en hierdie goed gebeur en hierdie ding wil nie saamwerk nie en... Ja. Dit rustig is. En dan sê die ochend op hou. We're looking to rent one of those bikes. I'm not exactly sure how it works but these little orange bikes on the promenade you can like pay something and then you can rent it and you can just like kind of leave it anyway so we're looking for a bike for you and then i can just hold on i'm just gonna hitch a ride with you see what's happening down the promenade yes thank you from here it will sleep or huh? Huh? Sleep now. no i sleep at night yes. so the day you don't sleep you the day. no 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 okay i sleep when the sun goes down i go to sleep. <laughs> You yeah, can do the wheelchair, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, good to go. Get a ski rope and a ski handle. Yeah. And then go down the promenade. And then go down the promenade. And and next time I should bring uh, Noah with and he can run along but you can't if you have him tied up while we're riding on a ski rope that is that is definitely not gonna work like that is see so this is one of the benefits of actually being in a wheelchair you can just rent one bike and then hitch a ride so it's not like in season right now but hopefully the the people that sell ice cream are up front and we can grab an ice cream even though it is before 10 a.m it's never too early for an ice cream okay so let's just talk cape town for a minute so we live just outside of cape town so i don't live in the city center so we don't come here that often and today is kind of just like a fun day no training no working uh, i'm just gonna you know we had the cold plunge went for a a breakfast coming for a ride on the promenade and hopefully getting an ice cream afterwards but you know a lifestyle in Cape Town is 
man i would love to live here you've got the mountains you've got the ocean you've got good food great people and I, I you know the whole cape town experience if you ever get the opportunity to travel to south africa at least spend a week in cape town i mean honestly guys this is something that i have been wanting to do for such a long time is rent a kayak and you can go around this whole Greenpoint area and um, let me show you what it looks like how they are launching it right now so I don't know if you can see that far but you can see them cleaning out the kayaks and you literally launch from here and you can go all the way around this whole Greenpoint area it's pretty cool yeah You've been up too early, that's why. <laughs> oh, that is service. Imagine the services. Yeah. After that, and may I ask you if I may be rude enough to Yes, ask sir. You, what happened to you? I was in a car accident. You know what? Yeah. Ten years ago. I can feel every single bit. Yeah. I... So as yeah. the man came over, he was actually just working at the kayak rental place. He started sharing his testimony and a bit of his life story. And guys, I love these kind of encounters because even though it was very brief, we were able to just share with him the goodness of God. And I believe these things aren't by coincidence. And the Lord will create opportunities in everyday life just to share the love of Christ. So for me, it's just being aware of these moments guys the truth is that there is a hurting and a dying world out there that that needs Jesus and wherever we go there's an opportunity to share that with the world 